Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. Good day everybody, Michael Posnick here, Century 21 Northumberland, your high definition real estate agent. Coming to you live with another brand new listing in New Glasgow, it's 5473 New Glasgow. At the time of this taping on for 349, this was formerly a four star water view country inn. Could function probably as a B and B, a large private residence, corporate retreat, or community care. Let's go take a look. Here's just a quick view from the corner. This house is 12 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms. So if you're considering expanding the family, this may be your place. Located right on Prime Route Number 13, which runs between Hunter River and the number one tourist destination in PEI, which is Cavendish Beach. This would be the main house, which is located on a bit of a hill, almost two acres is the lot, I think it's 1.5 or 1.6. And this here used to be rented out as an artist studio. It could serve as a separate, separate little cottage or living quarters. And then we've got a horseshoe or loop driveway underneath this snow leading back to Route 13. We're going to go through this main entrance here. There's two main doors and then we have uh, a couple of doors here, one leading to a hallway which is center frame right now and then the one over to the right leads to a main floor bedroom. This would be the rather large recently renovated kitchen. This is probably one of the more spectacular renovations I've seen. The kitchen's absolutely phenomenal. It looks like granite countertop. Here's another view of the kitchen from the other end, including the sink, microwaves below me. We've got an oven cooktop and what looks to be some sort of propane or yeah, probably propane grill, wine rack. There's your bar area or kitchen we came out of. Here's your sitting area. That door leads to the basement. The uh, double doors in the middle of the frame end up getting you out to the outside deck with the rolling hills view. Behind me is this hallway, which leads to double doors, French doors, and that's a bathroom there. That's the other side of those French doors at the end of that hallway, next to the bathroom. And then we've got a large or grand room here. There's a, ba a bedroom to the left. That's a pool table. And this, there's a hallway, utility room in front of me in the middle. And then this is the second door that leads into the house. This is the bedroom just off the grand room, which they're currently renovating. They've renovated just about everything here. The house has been completely redone from top to bottom. And then a pedestal sink. And there's me. We also have a jacuzzi tub behind the door. Just to give you some perspective, there's the hallway. There's the pool table and the utility room that we'll go into next. This would be the utility room with our oil-fired furnace and what looks to be a high-efficiency water heater or passive hot water heater of some sort. We're going to start going down the long hallway. This is the first bedroom to the left, which has its own bathroom. And we're going to head down to the hallway there. This is the bathroom for the first bedroom. I'm not going to show them all if they're similar. This is the next bedroom. We'll call this number two on the main floor, complete again with bathroom. So the last bedroom, bedroom number two, had a bathroom similar to bedroom number one. And this looks like more of a deluxe sort of bedroom here with uh, octagonal windows all the way around it. Referring to this as bedroom number three, we've got a much nicer bathroom here. We're going to go up the grand staircase to the upper level. There's a lot of house here. This was an expansion. We're going to go down that hallway, but before we do, this is the top of the stairs. We're going to go into that bedroom there. Then we got a laundry room and the, rem the remainder of the old original house. This is the uh, first bedroom at the corner, complete with its own bathroom in the center of the frame there. So this would be the original house. It starts off with their own laundry room here. And we're going to go down this hallway here. The laundry room leads us to this room here, to another hallway which has a bathroom on the left. This is our bathroom on the left. Sink, toilet, and tub. Across the wall we have this rather large, long, purpley bedroom. Behind the long, 
purpley bedroom is the blue and orange or yellow one, mustard. And then we've got the dark red burgundy room, which is at the front of the house. We have another set of stairs, which presumably leads to the kitchen. This would be the other bedroom on the front of the house, over top of the kitchen dining area. Just like downstairs, we have a very long hallway with a number of doors and a number of windows. This would be the first bedroom on the right. Again, complete with its own, you know what, bathroom behind this wall. There's the other bedroom behind that bedroom. It's just a mirror image of the one we just went through. Same configuration and finishes as the other bathroom. So this would be a higher end bedroom similar to the one downstairs with the higher end finishes and the, uh, the nicer bathroom. Next we're going to check out the basement. Here's a quick view of the basement. Lots of upgrades. Appears to be poured. Stairs we came down. Yeah, so we do have a commercial uh, fire extinguisher system here that probably cost an arm and leg to put in. And then they had this tank here to hold the water. And then over here we had a forced air furnace, which would be, of course, oil fired. So we've got upgraded electrical here and our other utilities. Just before we leave, I'm going to show these phenomenal views just once more. That's all water. That's a river. Rolling hills. Beautiful. Thank you very much for watching my video on 5473 New Glasgow. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at michaelsholmeshd.com and my weekly newsletter at michaelsholmes.com. Thank you, have a great day, and remember to buy it right.